I went on a little vacation. This was the hottest New Year's and Christmas I've ever experienced. I went to Belize. Stay tuned. Man, I'm watching. All you gotta do is get into it. The number you have dialed. Please note, the new number is. Welcome back to the channel. It's Justin Park. You know my channel is about fitness. Today I decided to venture off and do a sort of vlog. I went to Belize, like I said in the intro. And I had a fabulous time. I put together a few clips to show you my experience in Belize. I'm going to show you a few things I did, some of my experiences, my thoughts on what I was doing while in Belize. It was my first time here and it was hot. It different from anything I've ever experienced. I didn't do a docu- I, I wish I would have got more clips to be honest with you. I wish I would have got more in detail. I don't do documentaries necessarily. So just follow along, enjoy the stuff. I did work out a little bit. You know, I, I worked out three times in three weeks. So uh, I didn't get a lot of workouts in. Tried to manage my diet, sort of. Simply put, if you don't eat a lot of food, if you don't eat the wrong foods, you won't gain weight. Exercise comes in to help you take your body to the next level. But if you eat a, a low calorie diet, you will stay lean. Exercise only enhances your look. You know, weight training will enhance your look. It will make you look tighter. It will make your muscles bigger. If you are looking to lose weight, the number one way is to eat less. All right, without further ado, let's get to the video. Right. Those of you that didn't know, Hopkins is located in Central America, right next to Guatemala. And I'm showing you where I was. So we was in Hopkins, Belize, right in Central America. It's a, a lot of beach land here. It's not an island. I thought it was an island at first, but Belize is not an island. It's coastal land, and it's in Central America, right next to Guatemala, I already expressed that. Southwest of Cuba, it's a tropical area, if you were wondering. If you plan on visiting Belize, I recommend going in the winter months. That's anywhere from between December to I say March because in the summer, I, I can imagine it's hot because it was hot while I was down there in the winter. During the Christmas months, through New Year's, it was hot. So I can only imagine that it is scorching during regular summer months. So if you plan on going to Belize, you probably want to go during the winter time. Save yourself from being scorched in that hot sun. But other than that, it, it was pretty good. It, a lot of bugs too. You get bit by bugs down there. It was, like I said in the intro, it was a Christmas I've never seen before. I was actually in shorts in the winter time. <laughs> so that was a totally different experience. We had to take two planes to get into Belize. The second plane was actually a commercial plane. It was like we got there and we said we needed to go to Hopkins and we literally boarded the plane. It took like an hour, but we boarded the plane and believe it or not, it was commercial, not private. They still do business down in Hopkins. So we boarded this plane and we were on our way. Even though Belize is not an island, it is very island-like, it is tropical. It is hot. It, it did rain a couple times, but rain was rare. So it didn't rain much. It was tropical. If you don't like the cold, Belize is a place it, you should go. I've seen a lot of foreigners down there. It's a lot of stuff to do. We went fishing. I caught my very first fish ever in Belize. And where we were fishing at, they were biting, you know? So it's an experience I never had before. And Belize is so, Beautiful, a lot of colors. If you like seeing Mother Nature at its finest, you want to go to Belize and experience that. Of course, I took the drone along with me. That's why you see some of these 
gorgeous shot from the drone. I love my drone. If you've been following me for a while, you know I take my drone everywhere I go so I can get that excellent footage. I just like giving my viewers extra perspective. You know, when, when you see different shots, you see different perspectives of, of different things. So that's what I do. But anyway, the leads was wonderful. It was an experience I had that I'm glad I had. And we happened to be down there doing New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. We went to a party, they had fireworks. Fireworks went on. It just capped my trip. It capped my vacation. It was fun in many ways. You know, we got on the boat and we was in the middle of nowhere. I'm gonna leave a link to the business. No whales snorkeling and fishing. You know, we went with that business. I got a link, he's on Facebook. So if you are looking for a good time in Belize, if you wanna fish, if you wanna snorkel, if you want something to do, I'm gonna leave a link to the business in my descriptions. You can look up no whales, fishing and snorkeling tours. We went to the Belize Keys and the Belize Keys were beautiful. That's where we went. We went to the Belize Keys. I got that wonderful footage. I'm showing you the footage right now. Just lots of blue coral sand. Uh, it was awesome. The weather was nice, perfect weather. So we went there, we had fun, we had a good time. And then after that, we went fishing. I'm looking on the map and as far as I can tell, we were fishing in the Bering Sea, I believe. So we went fishing in the Bering Sea. It's not technically the Atlantic Ocean. I'm not sure, but it's like the Gulf of Mexico. I'm gonna show you the map too, so you can follow along with me, but anyway, we went fishing and I had an awesome time. We were like in the middle of nowhere. I don't know if you watched the show. I shouldn't be alive. kind of remind me of that, <laughs> you know, being in that water by yourself, like we was really out there. So when you go out to a place like that, you want to have an expert with you, somebody who know what they're doing. And that's what we had in No Whales fishing and snorkeling tour. So check them out. If you're out in Belize, you're going to have a good time. I can't tell you I went to Belize without telling you how what my diet was like. Of course, it was Caribbean style. A lot of fish, a lot of fruits and vegetables, stuff that keep you lean. So if you're looking to go on a trip and you want to lose weight at the same time, this is an excellent place to go because you're going to catch fish. Fish are lean. They don't carry too much fat. And fruits and vegetables, I preach that. I'm going to preach that to the end of time. So if you're trying to get lean, you want fruits and vegetables and fish. That should be like majority of your diet. So uh, you will lose weight if, if you eat a tropical diet, uh, period. There's no question about it. Uh, eat lean like that, eat fish and, and chicken and things like that. You'll lose weight, period. Now, I'm going to keep it real with you. <laughs> it wasn't all good on my trip. There was a lot of pros to my trip, but there were some cons. My lupus was acting up. I was in the sun for an extended period of time. And those of you know, I got lupus. You know, I have an autoimmune disorder. Of course, that's probably why you're watching my channel anyway. But anyway, my face swole up for like three days. So unexplained. I didn't get hit. I didn't get beat up or nothing. It just swole up on me. And I kind of regret that I didn't talk about that on my channel so I can share with y'all. But luckily for you, I have a picture and you are seeing the picture. I got to use sunscreen every time I go out when I'm in the sun or I get reactions like this. So I can't be in the sun, sun that long. That's another casualty of having lupus, you know, and you can't go on vacation. There's no such thing as a vacation with lupus. Anywhere I go on any trip, lupus goes with me. You know, that's the casualty 
of having lupus. That's one of the things that I go to. And of course, I didn't. Sometimes I don't have the 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 guts, the uh, audacity to talk about the situation. But I said that's an excellent topic to share with you guys. Next time I, something happened like that with me, I'm going to record my experience to share with you guys. But yeah, that's what happened to me when I was in Belize. So in conclusion, Belize was fun. You know, it was an experience I gladly experienced. You know, we did, I did a lot of things. I went fishing. I went snorkeling. Uh, we seen a lot of things. Like, we seen a lot of tourist attraction. And um, we had fun. You know, and, and it was hot. You know, I was wearing shorts during the winter. So that was the first for me. I've never experienced Christmas outside of Chicago, have I? I don't know, I don't remember. But anyway, I'm glad I went, I had fun. I got I got information on no whales, snorkeling and fishing tours in the description below. If you wanna check them out, check them out. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you like what you've seen. I got more coming your way. I got a lot more fitness stuff coming up. So subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Remember, uh, health is wealth. Fitness is a long-term investment that plays off in the long term. You do fitness right now, you might not see the benefits right now. You're going to see it later in the long term. So invest in yourself. Health is wealth. It's just in parts. Thanks for watching.